It's so funny how spirit works. I had no intentions to shoot this video for you today. Uh, I was out here just putting my feet down on the earth and grounding um, after a really phenomenal, very full week of coaching. And I really felt my heart just crack open while I was out here. And so Spirit said, go get your camera and come back and quickly record this while you're in this energy. Sometimes we get these moments of inspiration that um, are not on our agenda. It's about eight o'clock at night right now. It's a Friday night. But when we move out of our own ego's agenda, it opens up to the flow of spirit. I so am being called to just go so much deeper into my soul and so much deeper into the connection I have to the universe and Mother Earth, to other people, to the feeling of unity and oneness. I think I'm learning a lot right now of giving up control and how divinely guided I truly can become when I stop trying to be uh, as Debbie Ford once said, the general manager of the universe. You know, it's kind of funny, there's these flies, I don't know if you can see them, there's flies buzzing around. And life is interesting because uh, there's things in life that irritate us and um, they occupy space in our mind. And I think when we can uh, find a moment of peace in our life, in amongst the irritations, we feel truly connected to uh, uh, source energy and who we truly are at a soul level. Yeah, so for me, uh, being able to, to have the space, to have silence, to have solitude, uh, to connect with my soul is what I'm craving the most right now. As my dog brings in a brilliant moment behind me. <laughs> He's back there playing with his ball. I think it's the paradox of life. You have the soul and then you have humanness. And how do you integrate both to live on planet Earth through the human experience? I'm not sure about you, but uh, I, I can say for myself, there is something you know, within me that's just really calling me to understand who am I on the deepest level. And I'm being so called to look at these identities I've created on who I think I am and really question if that is who I want to continue expressing to the world and continue living in that life. You know, even in this moment, there's a great, there's a great sense of, uh, of bliss. You know, there's a great sense of freedom. There's um, just a feeling of peace. I think that's liberating and I think that uh, the more I come out here and put my hands down on the earth and put my feet down on the earth and feel the beauty of mother nature 
the more I feel connected to who I truly am and the more I'm discovering actually how much I truly love spirituality and how much I truly love understanding consciousness and the mystery of our universe and human potential. And I can't even begin to tell you that it's so much about the thoughts I think, but it's more about the feelings I have and this feeling of being deeply connected uh, to myself and to not just other people around me, but all things around me. It's a phenomenal feeling. So, uh, on that note, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, just wanted to give you a little piece of my world and what I experience here uh, living at the top of a mountain on a golf course and some of the peace and tranquility that I'm very grateful for. So I hope you have a beautiful day and we'll talk to you soon.